How's my project pan doing? Keep watching. Hi guys, this is Heidi and you're watching Heidi K Makeup. I posted the video for my project pan um, about a month ago, so I thought it would be a good time to go ahead and do an update for you all on how I'm doing. I've decided to go ahead and combine my project pan and my project focus updates into one video because um, the project focus is just a really big focus. <laughs> There's 30 products in there and I'm only going to update you on the ones that I've hit pan on or finished. So let's start with the stuff that is in project 10 pan and then we'll go ahead and move on to the focus stuff. The first thing that I am almost completely done with is this Wet n Wild Mega Volume Mascara. I've been layering this with one of my flower mascaras and it's pretty dried out. In fact, when I open it, I can look in there and see some yellow of the tube. You guys can't see that at all, but it is kind of dried out. Stuff still comes out, so I'm still using this, but I think in the next two weeks or so, I'll be throwing this out. And I've been layering it over my flower mascara because they were opened at the same time and I don't want that one to go bad. And so once these two are done, I'm going to move on to the Essence one that I bought recently but haven't used yet. Another product, this one is basically finished. This is my Physicians Formula Youthful Wear uh, foundation. But I have to squeeze really hard to get anything out of this. Like there's still just a tiny bit, but I have to squeeze all the way up to here to get anything out. I think that in the next couple of uses, this is going to be gone. Um, I'm probably going to have to cut it open and use my beauty spatula pretty soon with this, which is great because I'm not too crazy about this in the winter time for me. This I added in. This is my Too Faced Perfect Black Waterproof Eyeliner. I was using my Hard Candy Stay In Line one which I didn't even have in the original update because I had lost it. It's lost. I don't know where it went. So this is what I'm using instead. Um, and it's really dark. I like it in my waterline. I like the way it looks. But it irritates my contacts, so I can't use it every day. So I use it every couple of days or so. Um, and I'd like to get it out of my life just because it does irritate my contacts. But it's a really good liner. Speaking of liners, I have my Wet n Wild Mega Liner. This is getting there. So I still get product out when I open it, but um, actually I still get quite a bit of product out. But I can tell when this starts to dry up and it's getting there pretty soon. I think maybe next month I'll be done with this. I love it though and I kind of don't want to finish it because that means I have to use my other liquid liners and this, this one's my favorite one to work with. This Derm Store Lip Quench. I got this in an Ipsy bag forever ago. I've been putting this on my lips whenever I think about it. It lives in my purse. I do it before I do my makeup in the morning, after I take my makeup off at night, before I go to bed, and I still have, I feel like I haven't made any progress. It's still up to there, and it's still, there. there's still a bunch of stuff coming out. Um, so, and I don't know about the cruelty-free status on this one, but, I got this and when I'm done with this I've got a couple more chopsticks to go through because I'm so bad at chopstick. Mars Coco Cabana. It's all it's been laying down so you can't see where the line is, but there's a lot of space in there. What I've been doing is actually I use this as a highlight, but I also have been mixing it with this foundation because this foundation is too matte for me. So I take a little bit of this and a little bit of this and I mix them about 50-50 and it's helped me get through this a lot, a lot faster and helped make this a nice, really luminous finish on my skin, which is fabulous because my skin is so dry. This really clinged to dry spots and this has helped make it look much, much nicer. My NYX Wonder Pencil, I've sharpened this quite a few times. I am to the P. Gonna be sad to see this go, but I love it. I'm wearing this quite a bit, and I've actually been wearing this in my inner corner and just under the arch of my brow as well, um, as a kind of more creative way to use this. I've even used it a little bit on my Cupid's bow occasionally. The Too Faced Primer, this is the Sample Shadow Insurance, and it's still to there. And this actually went, is going a lot slower than I expected it to because I literally use this every single day, but you just don't need a lot of it. So 
This will probably be one of the last things to finish. This is something that I actually finished up and it is my flower raise some brows defining brow pencil in blonde. And there's nothing coming out of that. I can't even twist it. I twist it all the way up and you can't get anything out. Um, I really, really, really liked this. Right now I'm using my Wet n Wild taupe eyeliner as my brows, but I will definitely repurchase this. I love it. This changed my mind about pencil in the brows. So this is great. And then the last thing in my Project 10 pan is my Pixi Correction Concentrate, which is really deep. You cannot see the pan, but I feel it when I touch my finger in to put the stuff in. I can like, I can feel the pan. I know it's there. And I've been kind of going around the edge and it's been harder and harder to kind of get just a little bit of product out. It kind of ends up all over my finger. Love it. I'm gonna be sad when this goes too because I don't want to buy any more concealer until I'm done with all my other concealers and this is kind of holy grail for me. I use this every day and I've also used it as an eyeshadow base a couple of times when I wanted a really cool, um, very distinct look. So I like that a lot. Moving on to the things that were in my project focus, I have three things that I think are worth mentioning. Um, the first one is my Urban Decay Deluxe Palette. Bam! I hit pan on scratch, which is awesome because I don't even use this every day but um, I've been focusing my brush right on that center and I hit pan on it a couple days ago. I put it on the inner corner just about every day no matter what my eye look is and I also have been just putting it right under the arch um, but I also like it all over the lid. It's lovely. It's absolutely lovely. Urban Decay is owned by a parent company that tests. So is NYX and NARS. So yay! That's awesome. We'll focus in on a different one. Also, since I have this palette out, I might as well talk about Zero. You cannot tell at all. There's like no dent in it at all, but I've been using Zero every single day to set my eyeliner when I'm wearing black. If I'm wearing brown, I don't, but if I'm wearing black, I've been using that for that. Another thing worth mentioning is this NARS Deluxe Size Sample Cruella Lip Pencil. I finished this on Saturday. There's still a little left, and I could probably scrape it out of there, but I've decided that I actually really hate this a lot. I liked the color, but it's smeared all down my lip line, even with a lip liner. If I rub my lips together, I'd get like this naked part on my lip where I rub my lips together. And it's just a very high maintenance red, so I don't like it, would not recommend it. And the last thing that I think is worth mentioning is my, um, Shine Luxe Sheer Lip Color by Sonia Kashuk in Sheer Fuchsia. I'm wearing it today, and this is all I have left. It won't go any higher than that. Love this, and I think I've decided that I really, really, really like these formulas. So I'm going to be kind of sad when I see this go because I'd like to purchase it again, but I'm not going to let myself purchase it. But I have really been enjoying this, and I think that this will be gone in the next week or so. So those are all my project pan things, the kind of update in the first month. I hope that you guys liked this video. Thumbs up for rediscovering your stash. If this is your first time here, you can hit the subscribe button so the next time I do a video, you'll know about it. If you'd like to see my family every day, you can do so by subscribing to my daily channel, which is Sudden Kim Pact. Then you can see what I'm wearing on my face each day. Um, and you can also check out my parenting channel, which is Heidi Kim TV, for those of you who are interested in parenting things. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know if you're doing a project pan. I love these videos. I'll talk to y'all soon. Bye. I've been doing really well with my low buy, and I will do an update on that when I do my project pan update, but I haven't bought anything. <laughs> and um, I've really, really been enjoying it and enjoying shopping my stash. And today I wanted to talk about kind of my anti-haul wish list, as it were. The things that I'm kind of saving my money up for and planning on purchasing next and getting really, really excited about. 